What's up guys, my name is Alan and first of all, welcome to today's video. In today's example, I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own Wix mobile app. That's right, we're going to be able to show you guys how to create your very own branded app for iPhone, for Android, and honestly, it's going to be pretty easy. There's some pre prerequisites. Um, obviously, we're going to need to download the Wix owner app. This app is going to allow us to quickly edit our app. Um, but before we get started with that, you obviously need a Wix website. So go to Wix.com, create a website. Once you're in your dashboard, on the left-hand side, you'll notice site and app. You'll want to hover over site and app within your Wix dashboard on your laptop or desktop and click on branded app. Once you click on branded app, just give your app a name and basically get started that way. Once you do that, um, you'll want to go ahead and download the Wix owner app so you can finally get started with uh, building your very unique branded app. Regardless if it's an online store, regardless if it's an e-commerce site or whatever it might be, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to actually edit this for the very first time. So let's go ahead and check out our example today. Uh, it is Cash the Repentance uh, Fire out in Australia. You'll notice that they have a very beautiful app. It's very clean. It has a really nice introduction. It has a beautiful slider. It has a nice little introduction again. Again, a different slider for videos. And then I've added a playlist and I've also added a RSVP for events. It can go, we can go pretty uh, extensive with what we can do with the app, but I'm going to try to keep this video as simple as possible. And then again, uh, we've added a video channel, which then again, individuals can go through all their videos. So pretty interesting app. We're going to go ahead and close the app and get into the actual video. So uh, without further delay, let's go ahead and click on Wix owner app. The Wix owner app, uh, again, is going to give you really cool information, obviously being able to edit your app, but information such as how many monthly uh, visits your website is getting. In this case, they're doing about 25,000 visits per month. You'll notice that within the Wix owner app, at the very bottom, it says site and app. So we wanna click on site and app, and then we wanna scroll right to the bottom right here and click on customize the app. So let's click on customize and voila, here we are, the Wix, mobile app builder, uh, which basically will let you build your very own app. Again, your very own app, whether it's iPhone or Android. So we'll go ahead and click on it again. Um, how do we get started? Well, generally, I like to say always work on the, from the top to the bottom when it comes to your mobile app. So let's click on uh, the blue icons and you'll notice the blue icons everywhere. These blue indicators will allow you to add elements or they will allow you to change specific elements. So let's look at the top portion right here. And let's go ahead and click on edit header. So let's click on edit header. From here, you get some pretty basic stuff such as repentance revival, which is just the name of the business or, or church in this case. You can add a um, tagline. You can go ahead and add a logo. You can add a banner. And then you can choose like a theme color in general. You can sh uh, show whether you want the member count to show, uh, whether you want the profile to show, or whether you want general information to show. Again, uh, really, really easy, basic setup stuff for the top right here. And then um, you'll also notice that you can also add your own custom button. So when you click on custom button, you'll notice that the header at the top changes from invite to a specific button. And then from there, you can go ahead and choose a specific uh, button, whether book a service, send a message, uh, and then you could, or even call. Uh, but most, most, most individuals uh, will have this customized to their experience. Um, in this case, we're just gonna turn it off. And then we're just going to scroll up to the top and I kind of like my header. So I'm going to click on save. Fantastic. To view the app uh, live, you always want to click on done at the top right hand corner. So when you click uh, done at the top right hand corner and simply open up your app, all the latest changes that you've made within the app will automatically show within your app right now. So uh, very important to always hit the save button. Next, you'll want to go ahead and work within your menu. So adding a menu is very simple. Uh, think of it like your website menu. You want to click on navigate tabs. From here, uh, you can go ahead and add any type of tab that you like, and then you can work within that tab. So why don't we, before we add a new menu item, why don't we just look at the different tabs that we have already and then see what we can do. In every single portion of your website, um, you'll think of it as portions. So underneath this little, um, events, I can click at an item called add element. And if I click on that, you'll notice that I can go ahead and add elements underneath my section. So everything from basic items, such as a button, an image, a video, some text box. Uh, again, this text box is a prime example, such as the top right here. So you'll notice that this is simply a text box, uh, but I can add elements between portions of the website. Uh, but going back, clicking on add element, uh, we have elements such as a form. So if you have a Wix form on your website, you can add this really awesome. If you're using Wix groups, 
Uh, again, really, really cool, member badges, etc. Events, if your website has Wix events, then you can go ahead and add events. Um, and then everything from blog, to members, uh, to pricing plans, to bookings, to store. Again, if you're an e-commerce store, um, and if you're an online store, then the Wix mobile branded app is going to be an absolutely fantastic product for you. Um, and then galleries, you can go ahead and add galleries. You can add online programs. And setting up every single one of these elements is very simple. In this case, uh, we've had videos added uh, to our actual website, to our mobile app. And then we've also added elements such as the video carousel. So let's go ahead and kind of just look at what we got first. Um, you'll notice that this portion right here is just simply text. To edit anything within uh, that's already on your app, you can just simply click on the little pencil icon. So in this case, um, the text, we'll click on edit, and then you'll have always options for every single element. So in this case, there's customize element, move down, duplicate, and remove element. Remember that anything you wanna do or add, you wanna simply hit the top right hand corner, a done so that it will automatically go to your live app which is right here so just remember to always press done now going back into here let's go ahead and click on the little pencil icon for this text click on customize element and well here it is you have the title so you can either remove it or you, you keep it whichever you prefer and then the content preview well in this case i can click edit and then i can actually just start writing the content right here I have my bolding, I have my italics, I have pretty much everything I need to uh, create a really nice introductory. Anything you do within the app, the save button at the top right hand corner will always appear. So if I turn this off, you'll notice that the save appears. Um, if we're looking at our app real quick, you'll notice that it says uh, Precious Saints, right? So if I simply did this, hit save, hit done, close my app, reopen my app, you should notice that the app no longer um, has that title so that it, it does update real time, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and delete this, remove the app, click on customize one more time in our Wix owner app, scroll down here to the um, text one more time. Now there's an empty blank field here. Just make sure that you don't always have duplicates. So we're gonna click here. We're gonna remove any empty duplicates or any empty spacing, click done. So that when we go back into our app, you'll notice that, lo and behold, that everything is nice and organized for us. We did have a little bit of an error there, so we do wanna make sure that that's 100% good to go. Um, going back into customize, uh, let's go ahead and maybe add an element that uh, is pretty popular. So I'm gonna click on add, and why don't I add, for example, a store element? So if I add simply products, we'll go here. Uh, we can go ahead and give uh, a, a basically a title for the product and we can choose whether it's uh, a crop product or, or the images fit and we can choose which products to obviously show now my current wix website does not have a wix e-commerce installed so this project is obviously not an online store but it's very simple to add an online store um, and to make this app an online store so whatever your actual website is uh, is what your app will become so as long as you add elements that properly uh, fit your app. So honestly, um, again, uh, moving into navigation, um, moving into how you organize things, click on edit. Uh, you can grab anything you like and just move it around as you can see. And then um, just for the sake of making sure that we can actually add elements, let's go ahead and add one more element here. And let's say if we wanted to add an image, we click on image, and then we can go ahead and just upload an image by just clicking the little plus button. And then honestly, uh, it's really that simple. Uh, if we're looking at the different functions of the Wix owner app specifically, you'll notice that um, you can go ahead and actually look at the different websites, uh, different content that your website has. If you click on edit content or simply click on the following, sorry here guys, click on community, uh, you can go ahead and navigate through your actual app. So making sure that you actually click on the app uh, lets you navigate. This right here is the Wix blog. This right here is the Wix form. Again, this right here is just the Wix video player. And then we've added different elements uh, within the homepage. So you can customize a really awesome homepage just depending on clicking on add element, adding the appropriate element, customizing that element, and then just hitting the done button at the top right hand corner. Again, this is all done right through the Wix owner app. Go to Wix.com, create a website, left hand side, simply click on site and app, hover over that and click on branded app, get the prerequisites, download the Wix owner app, 
click on customize. And again, you'll want to go ahead and click on the quick action bar at the bottom, click on site and app, click on customize and go ahead and start customizing this any way you like. You really can't mess this up. Um, and yeah, if you guys need help with this, definitely reach out to me. Uh, I'll leave my email address in the link below and uh, I can definitely help you build your own app or, or for hire, whichever you prefer. And then, like I said, uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, uh, consider liking this video and you can build any type of mobile application you like using the Wix owner app and the Wix.com editor. Thanks a lot for watching.